Let's check out some of these buildings first, though, so I can get some, uh... What's it called? Points I can teleport to later, or fast travel. What building is this? It's a sweet bus. National Archives. I don't think I really need to go in here yet. I don't even know if I've ever been in here. Ranger Emergency... S oh, that's this quest, yeah. I think you rescue Riley's Rangers or something stupid. I don't know. Listen to this. Oh, music! You suck, three dog. Three dog won't put on, uh. won't come out talking. Probably gonna insult me for blowing up Megaton or something. That jerk. He, like, says stuff uh, based on what you do in game, which is kind of awesome. So I've heard him saying I'm how I'm the like messiah and stuff on my other game because I was did all the good decisions. I guess we're going to the Washington Monument because I don't know where the building is. Where I get look at the building with all the ghouls in it, so I can get a follower. I think he's easy to get. Oh great, more super mutants. I don't know. It's like the worst weapon ever. Come here, you. Where are you going? Don't you quit running away and fight me. Seriously, so much easier once you get a follower. I was gonna get Jericho, but for some reason I made everyone mad at me in that in Megaton. Well, there's probably a few reasons people could be mad at me, but uh, let's not go into those, I guess. You have discovered the Washington Monument. Open the freaking gate. Elevator. This seems safe. Wonder how this elevator actually still works, but you know, whatever. Let's not be logical about it. Really, a loading screen. Everybody, this is Three Dog, your friendly neighborhood disc jockey. Stole the vertigo disc. But I'm gonna keep talking anyway. Gained karma. Screw ah, you yes. guys. Time for the news. It's a news. You time. know her, you hate her. How could you not? She's the malignant me. marauder who oozed out of Vault 101. You'll never guess what she's up to now. Children, I'm afraid I've got some terrible, terrible news. GNR sources have confirmed that the mushroom cloud seen in the vicinity of Megaton was in fact Megaton. It was Megaton. It's been no secret that the pre-war nuke in the center of town had a live atomic core, and under the wrong conditions could still go kaboom. Well, go kaboom it has, but it was all just a tragedy. 
tragic accident. Right? It was an accident. Don't you believe that for a second? What? Fellas. Screw you, three dog. Word is that twisted old land grabber, Alistair Tenpenny, founder of the posh Tenpenny Tower, has been looking to secure that spot for years. I suspect foul play, folks. But just who did the dirty deed? Ask yourself this. Why is the kid from Vault 101 been sighted hanging around Tenpenny Tower? I live there. Why, indeed. Jerk. Thanks for listening, children. This is Three Dog. Ow! And you're listening to Galaxy News Radio. We're Radio Free Wasteland, and we're here for you. You must. Now, Good. some music. Good thing I fixed a stupid thing so he can insult me. With a death wish. Death Welcome wish? Welcome to the mall, tourist. Tourist? Not a tourist, you jerk. Come on, here you are in the mall of our nation's fine capital, taking in the sights, visiting the monuments. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Face it, you're a tourist. Whatever. I have to go now. Till next time, sightseer. Okay, I think this is where I can get a follower. In the Museum of History. Yeah, it's the Museum of History, see? Yay! I, the other one I was in was the Museum of Technology. Underworld. Hey. How's it going, Make dude? Hey, screw you, buddy. What? Oh, well, would you look at that? We got us a smooth skinned visitor. Ooh, we. We ain't seen one of your type in a long time. What are you? Oh, crap. Now tell me, how is it you ended up down here in Ghoul Central without knowing what a ghoul is? Huh? I'm really stupid. You know, oh, never wait. mind. I'm a ghoul. Everyone down here, ghouls. That's what we are. And before you ask, what's a ghoul? Let me tell you. Is that a zombie? We're not the walking dead. Oh. Despite the rotten flesh and the smell. We're mutants. Sort of. At least I think we are. Oh, that's a great description. Where am I? You're in Underworld, Smooth Skin. It's the only safe place for we ghouls in D.C. We're here out of sight and out of mind. The mutants leave us alone, and the slavers usually don't come this far into the city. So it's not bad. Sounds exciting. Really, the Brotherhood of Steel is the only thing we have to worry about. So long as we don't leave Underworld, that is. Um... Why are you mad at them? Bastards. They don't seem to be able to tell us apart from the super mutants. Those guys are geniuses, let care. me tell you. They see us and shoot on sight. At least they have the common courtesy to miss most of the time. Still, bigots. Alright, look around. Enjoy your stay. Just try and keep from shooting up the place. Aww. We got a nice little deal going on down here. We'd like to keep it nice. Uh, anything by the mind wipe on the escaped android? I used to Sweet. think it was all so much bullshit, but then I got this holotape. Here, listen to it yourself. I already heard it. Um. Can you pay me? I'll screw you. Let me know if. I don't need anything. Oh, they got the president's radio station on. Do you need something? Yes. Hmm. I don't really need to see the doctor in here. A ghoul doctor. That's just craziness, though. I got work to do. So, if how's what do you Underworld do? been treating you so far, smooth skin? It's thrilling. What do you want me to do? Me? I keep every hunk of old rusted pre-war garbage around here in operating condition. Seems exciting. We've got lights, water, and ventilation all running off the old crap they used to keep this place going for the tourists. I've managed to keep it going so far, but, well, I'm not sure how long I can keep it up. What do you want? We've scavenged just about all the scrap metal from all the places we can save. You want me to bring to. you scrap metal? We're scraping the bottom of the barrel here. Hell, not before long, I'm gonna have to disassemble poor old Cerberus for parts. Cerberus? Oh, hey, you get elusive around, man coming after me? Tell you what, 
You bring me back any scrap metal you find out there, and I'll trade you whatever I can. Whatever. We can work out a trade. We've got some stuff around here that we don't need, but a smooth skin like you might make use of it. What sort of payment are we talking about? Well, we got stim packs, but the doc keeps us healed up, so we don't really need them. So I could trade one of those for five bits of scrap metal. Wow. He also got us a ton of What a waste of time. Lags. I mean, what good is it to us? But I'll trade you either one for five bits of scrap. Your choice. Well, your quests... Uh, sure, whatever. Well, all right. That's good to hear, stranger. Just come on back to me when you've gathered some scrap metal. If I remember... You'll find it just about anywhere. On junk robots, in old buildings, you name it. I have to go. Let me know if you have any of that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Screw you and your scrap metal. I'm out of bullets in this gun. I have like 40 bullets in it. That's good. The Ninth Circle. Aha! Uh, talk to Azrakal. Yeah, but... Talk. To. Azrakal. Oh, screw you, buddy. I don't want Hey, you. What's new? Well, now. Looky here. We got us a smooth skin that I ain't ever seen before. I'm Azrakal. And this, this is the ninth Yeah, circle. I saw the sign. Folks got problems, and I got liquor to sell them. Well, liquor and a few other pick-me-ups, huh? You need anything, uh, you just let me know. Um, who's the guy in the corner? That's Sharon. Let's just say, well, he's a loyal employee. Don't mess with me. And he won't mess with you. So he's your slave? No, he is not. Ma'am, you insult me. No, I'm I do not sorry. believe in slavery. It is an abomination. I am a firm believer in personal choice. To force another person into bondage is unthinkable. Chains are earned, never forced. Well, glad we cleared that Sharon up. Sharon made some choices that landed him in my employ. The matters of our contract is between him and I. No one else. What do you mean he's your loyal employee? I hold his contract, which makes me his employer. He will do what I ask, when I ask, without question. You see, Sharon grew up around a very interesting group of individuals. They, well, I guess you could say that they brainwashed him. Nice. He is absolutely loyal to whomever holds his contract. Unfailing, unflinching. Until the day that employment ends. Don't get me wrong. I have no doubt that he holds no end of animosity towards me. But so long as he is my employee, he is as gentle as a teddy bear. Thrilling. Um, I want to talk to you about Sharon's contract. Oh, would you now? He's a highly valuable asset to me and to the Ninth Circle. What did you have in mind? Um, thousand caps. Could we work out some sort of deal? I suppose we could do that. Uh, although you might not like the deal that I have to offer. I'm sure it'll be fine. You see, I don't like competition. Not at all. It goes against every principle that I have as a businessman. Does it? So the fact that there is another source for booze in town troubles me. Greta, the waitress over at Carol's. I want you to kill her. Alright, sounds good. How. Just make it quiet. Do it, and you can have Sharon's contract. Sure, Greta is nothing to me. I will do it. I'm glad to hear it. Come back to me when she's dead, and Sharon's contract is all yours. Sweet. A word of advice. Be subtle. Open gunplay will only get the town to turn on you. Aww. And I will not be able to help you. 
There are no worries that can't be left behind with the help of a little alcohol. Clearly. Yeah. Alright, where the heck is Greta? Greta, Carol, or Carol, whatever. Hey, you. Yeah, you. I want to talk to you. You do? What are you looking at? You think you'd never you seen a talk to me, up close before? Uh, I'm just gonna say this so I can get whatever quest he wants. Is that so? Even if I call you a milk-sucking, mutant-loving, water-stealing whore? What? Owned. Another human figure. Bring it. Figures. Hey, you called no me names first. A super mutant. Oh my gosh. What now? You're starting to piss me off. Are you one of them ghoul haters? I guess I gotta apologize. Yeah, yeah, you already told me that. <laughs> I like a human that knows his place. What? Screw you, buddy. Too many of you think we're all just zombies. They don't know or don't care that we're just as human as they are inside. We bleed, we hurt, we regret. And you know what really pisses me off? Oh, please tell me. They think the only way to kill us is to shoot us in the head, like in the old zombie stories, and that'll put us out of our misery. Hey, I know. Maybe you could help me even the score. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know if I trust you. The feeling's mutual, smooth skin. But that never stopped a business deal. A lot of you humans are bigots. You don't like ghouls and treat us like zombies, calling us brain eaters and shufflers. Well, they're gonna pay. Uh, before I get into the details, you don't have anything against killing, do you? <laughs> what is that, a joke? A day isn't complete until I've killed something. Well, aren't you the bloodthirsty type? That's me. I got this list of people. Ghoul bigots. Real scum. I've only got four guys left on the list. Started out with 11. All of them hate ghouls and treat us like we're zombies. They all deserve to die. But it has to be done with a headshot. Just like the old stories, where zombies can only be killed that way. I'll pay you 100 caps for each one. 25 if they die some other way. Sure. People like that don't deserve to live. Excellent. Take this sniper right Oh, sweet. You'll need it. Here's a list of the guys and their last known locations. Word will get around if Ten Penny's killed, but I'll need proof for the others. You want me to kill Ten Penny? Bring me back something personal uh, from each of them. I don't know if I can do this quest. Like a key, a ring, or something. Maybe I can just, like, pickpocket it or something. Go to shoot him in the head. What do you have against these guys? I should probably ask that. They're ghoul haters. I want them all dead. Don't you think that's enough? Whatever, I have to go. Yeah, see ya. Kill Alistair Tenpenny. Doesn't Dukov there too? Quinn. Oh, hello there. Who are you? Oh, why, hello there. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Quinn. Hi, Quinn. Uh, nice to meet you. I guess. You too, stranger. I know a lot of people around here don't take kindly to humans wandering around, but I've met a lot of your people in my travels. Thrilling. Uh, what's Mr. Crowley up to? I might know something interesting if you're willing to pay for it. I'll screw you, buddy. How about I don't? Just tell me. I don't think so. Oh, that worked. I don't give away anything for free. Besides, it's obviously worth something to you. Mmm, I have to go now. Yeah, see ya. 50 caps. Screw you, buddy. Hey, oh, I have to kill Stare, you. Or are you gonna order? You need something, hun? Um. You know about Underworld? To tell you the truth, hun, I don't really know much about it. All I know is that it used to be some sort of exhibit. Like a museum? Something about hell or the afterlife or uh, something. Uh, what? Museum of Two History? Of knows that sort of stuff. You're kind Not of a moron, aren't you? Not around here ever buys anything from that shop of hers. Come back when... Ugh. I gotta wait for her to, like, walk outside, I think. Hmm. 
who knows when she does it. No! Walk outside. <coughs> go on a smoke break or something. Oh, where'd she go? Did she go outside? It'd be nice if she came outside. This is thrilling stuff right here. Oh my gosh, it's been like a whole day and she still hasn't come out here. Kill Alistair Tenpenny. Don't let the smell get to you. We don't get a lot of fuel. Well, look who's back. Shut up, you. Where's Greta? Where'd you go? Oh my gosh. Oh. Hi, Greta. I found her! Don't mind me. Nobody cares, right? Good. Do gotcha. I have to do everything? Whoa! Gotcha. What the crap? Oh my gosh, it's not going well. What'd I do? How'd they know I killed Greta? No. Alright, new plan. Jerks. They're not supposed to know I killed her. How did that happen? I guess I should have done a sneak attack on her. That would have probably made more sense. Let's wait more. Make sure. I need a companion so I can make the game super easy. Though this isn't like New Vegas, cause when your companion kills something, you don't get the experience, which kind of sucks. Okay. We're friends again, right? Oh, hey, okay, maybe we're friends again now. Scanning. Attention. Civilian on deck. What? What are you, a guard dog? I am Cerberus. It is my solemn duty to guard the citizens of Underworld against any and all threats. You kind of failed at that foreign and domestic. So, yes, I am the guard dog. Negatory. I have been programmed to remain on premises at all times. In the event of hostilities, I will respond with deadly force. Go, Underworld! Go, ghouls! Eh! Wow. Damn this pansy zombie programming. Huh. Resuming patrol. Alright, can I not get shot at again? Okay. We need to have us a little talk. 
You keep your gun in your holster when you're in my town. Otherwise, we're gonna have a problem. Screw and you, buddy. Solve my problems for me. Understand? Now, how can I help you? Greta's dead. Is she now? Well, it seems that this arrangement worked out well for both of us. With the new profit I'll make from Greta's customers, I'll be able to hire a replacement for Sharon with plenty left over for myself. And you held up your end of the deal, my friend, and, and I am a man of his word. Sharon's contract is yours. You are his new employer. Congratulations. Yay! I'll give you the pleasure of informing him yourself. Talk to. Nope. I have good news. You're my new employer. Er. Oh, no, none of that. You belong to me now. I belong to no one. If you are my new employer, then I will serve you. But first, I must take care of something. Wait here. All right. As recall, I am told that I am no longer in your service. Yes. Yes. Oh, what the? All right, let's go. Um, sounds good. As you wish. Oh, my God. I don't like the look of this place. Don't you live here? Very well. Hmm. There we go. Yeah. Let's go. And I shall follow. I thought, Azra, I thought Sharon liked it. Without our buddies from the Brotherhood, I'm very hard. The oh, you suck. Would have been overrun a long time ago. Oh my God. He's so dead. Yeah, he's dead. Bring it. That's what I thought. Hey, you. Can't believe Sharon would shoot him. Okay, well, now that I've got my amazing companion, or a companion, finally. I'm going to uh, end for now. Next, I gotta go back to, you know, Galaxy News Radio. But yeah, so join me next time. We go talk to Three Dog, um, he'll finally tell me where uh, my dad is or whatever. So yeah, thanks for watching.